ERP systems are not obviously new to the marketplace. So many of the systems that are installed are becoming quite old. These systems that uh, CIO is faced with either making an upgrade or making a quantum change. And frequently, the upgrade itself is a quantum change. So catching up on where they need to be release-wise is a huge concern. And the expense that's associated with that major concern, and it compels the CIO to make that decision, do we stay, do we move, do we embrace cloud, and how that looks. So it's not just a simple, we've got to do the upgrade or when we're going to do it, it's what are all the other implications of getting involved in the upgrade. Next is many of the applications in the ERP world, they've been customized for years, especially when we're talking about PeopleSoft applications where there hasn't been a substantive new release in many years, so the customizations to the project are enormous. So if you're at 9.0 and you need to go to 9.2 so you can get the most recent releases, it may be a reinstall rather than just an upgrade. So being very far behind automatically says that you've customized the systems to the point where even going to another platform is going to be very expensive. So that's a major consideration. And finally, security. Um, everyone, especially in healthcare, is keenly aware of the risk of having a poorly maintained security surrounding your ERP and even your EMR systems. So the hacking that's going on, the internal hacking, the external hacking, everything is at risk these days. So failing to protect the assets of your organization, which is keenly in the CIO's arena, your information, failing to protect your information is a huge risk. And it's a huge consideration with ERP. Failing to stay current with current releases with, from your vendor also means that you're not staying current with the state-of-the-art security measures that are in place. So, those are the primary reasons that uh, CIOs are really taking a harder look at what's going on with ERP applications because the implications are not just singular, they're much more, they're multifaceted.